Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today on the bench, we'll be putting the arm and fraction under the knife. So great little truck, I got a scratch and dent. This thing was originally a brushed setup. So I did a castle brushless motor and a castle ESC. It's been doing okay, but we've had a problem with this thing just runs really hot. So, they do make a heat sink that is specific for this setup. As you can see, it's cleared out here to clear the drive shaft. The drive shaft is ridiculously tight up against the motor, so it makes using a regular heat sink uh, very difficult. And the reason I never went this route is because if you look, this motor has the wires that run this way. So, we're going to have to trim out a section of this try to get it to work might even try to get some heat shrink over some of those connectors to give a little extra protection but yeah so we're going to do that and then if you look these back tires have like some ridiculous wear on the inside edge uh, i'm thinking there's there's some adjustments here in the control arms i'm thinking if i move it from this top hole to the bottom it might move that out but i think that's the only adjustment you have you might i don't know i don't think these things turn but i could be wrong the fronts have a little sleeve here that spins the back doesn't seem oh no that does well i might just try put a couple wrenches on there and see if we can't get these to turn if not i might have to uh, move that screw but we definitely need to get these tires to uh, straighten up so let's get to it Oh, wow that took way more than I thought because right here these fins I had to go sand them down because they're on the bottom so this needs to be flush with the bottom of the RC so these were sticking I didn't quite get this adjusted where I thought it was gonna sit I made a mistake initially uh, I still had the speed gear in here 19 tooth pinion so that's probably why this motor has been running hot and shutting off so I went back to the 15 tooth, got that in there, and, you know, it pivots a little bit more, I guess. I don't know. I think I use different holes now that versus the 19, but we got it. Um, I had to grind out right here over that little bolt on the motor. I had to grind away here and then way down here to fix that bolt. I put some heat shrink on here, and I bent these up a little bit so they, they shouldn't. Uh, short out and rub on that so oh what a headache but uh let's continue on Oh yeah, there's some <laughs> wicked airflow coming off of that. Woo! Yeah. All right, so that's done. Uh, that's a lot more airflow through here. This should keep this motor a lot cooler. Also, having the right gearing helps. I forgot uh, that I still had the 19 tooth speed pinion in here. There's like a 55, I believe, or 52. I can't remember now. I think it's a 55 tooth spur gear in here with the 19 tooth in this 
original specs was a 15 tooth pinion so I put that back the motor shouldn't work as hard and I was having it, it would thermally just shut down I'd drive it down the road it would turn off and I'd have to go run and retrieve it before it got ran over uh, but this should be uh, good now uh, you know this little project here sometimes you know a deal isn't as good as and, and I knew that getting into the sea so they had the scratch and dent sale on these things for like 140 150 dollars so I bought it they also had a sale with the castle ESC and the brushless motor and I believe that was like 140 150 so let's just say round it up and say okay so it's 300 to do the 3s upgrade and still a hundred dollars cheaper than buying the ready to run 3s version of this so you think you're saving some money problem is this thing was so squirrely at least to me i had a hard time keeping it straight the way it was where if i would have got the other version it would have came with the dx3 radio with uh the, the control basically like uh uh, a steering control a, a gyro so basically like if it starts sliding the wheels will correct so I bought the uh, Dumbo radio here which has the receivers in here which has a built-in gyro so I got this stabilized now that's not really too big of a deal because I can use this on any car because I bought about three or four of those uh, receivers I think I got like a four pack so I still got three more so I don't really want to include this totally in the price of this but for me, uh, you know, out of the box, this thing's good for like 20, 25 miles an hour. So when you're running 50 and 60, it starts getting squirrely. It gets really hard to control. And then with the extra speed, I had to put the, the bearing here in the center. So at the end of the day, I think I'd probably just been better off just spending the money getting the 3S version. But And I thought about that, but it was fun doing the build and having like kind of the faster one. Plus also... Um, I put the Hoons tires on here because these things just, they weren't doing very good at, I think, fast speed, or maybe they were okay. I don't remember. They're ugly. Ugly as all get out. So, I mean, what would you rather? Where if you get the 3S. So, I think by the end of the day, uh, yeah, I've, I've probably just been better off getting the 3S. Is this custom and all that? Yeah. Uh, and I also have one more problem. This red block right here that's supposed it's supposed to snap uh screw in from underneath that holds this whole transmission i can't get the slide far enough because of the heat sink because the heat sink's rotated this piece here should actually be standing straight up but because this is a arma heat sink <laughs> it's not designed for the castle motor uh I tell you, I, I was about that close after hacking this thing just to go ahead and get the right motor, which I think is a little bit longer, which is why the uh, this doesn't have a problem with the factory motor. I think the factory motor is a little bit longer because these connections on the factory are the same way. They, they come out and point this way, and the screws are right here. So that motor must be longer if it clears all this. Because this is actually the uh, heat sink for a 3S infraction yeah infraction but we got it done um so these turn these are adjustable they really are can't believe it i didn't think they were but they are i found four full turns to be about the sweet spot to bring it level um you might have caught i used this this flat on the ground this makes a nice straight edge and i got a good reading on the tire so all four tires are pretty flat now even though the front tires really didn't show too much of that weird wear but they are wearing on the inside and outside but that's probably because they ste they steer oh here's the f <laughs> uh they got a little bit more on the outside here but that's probably because when you're turning they're pushing and there might be actually more power going to the rear i'm not sure how this thing well actually yeah it makes sense because the motor's here and then you got a slipper clutch and the slipper clutch kind of transfers the power to the front so um So yeah, this doesn't have like a center diff. So 
All right, uh, let's go have some fun with this thing and see if it doesn't uh, overheat. I did adjust the suspension a little bit to bring the front up because it was, but now it seems like it's a little bottom, or it seems like it's a little back, light in the back end. All right, let's go run this thing. Ooh, it is definitely punchier. Oh. Now see, the last gear was designed for speed. And the problem with that is, you know, you start getting the motor hot and you start straining everything. So it's kind of a trade-off between do you want speed or do you want a longevity? So I think with the uh, speed gear in there, I was around like 55. It just definitely doesn't seem as fast, so. I'm not sure if you can see it. 41, so 41 miles an hour is what we're getting. Not bad. I mean, it could be maybe a little bit faster, but. And the brake is like way punchier on this thing now. I'm gonna have to uh, try to throttle that back. Cause that'll end up hurting the uh, pinion gear and all that. You trying to just slam it. You can see the stability thing working on that thing. It's like wagging. It's working to try to keep this thing straight. It's a squirrely little truck. It's fun though. See, I think by now, I would have overheated everything. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if we get this thing to thermal, so I'm running it kind of hard. Well, let's just check it. myself out heat sinks doing good heat sink feels cool hear that fan see that's just that fan but it's getting pretty hot it's actually not bad I mean I can hold my before I would be like Screaming, <laughs> trying to. But yeah, let's uh. Because you get the motor too hot, you end up with stuff in there, and we don't want to do that. So. Oh man, it's fun. This is a fun little truck. I do kind of wish I would have got the three S though. Instead of dealing with all this headache of modifying this that and the next thing but tracks this batteries that's all I had at the time uh, so I did add this carbon fiber brace right here added the bearing of 
course we upgraded the motor to the brushless brushless ESC to go with it added the, this cooling fan and then you know we changed out the wheels it actually feels like it's going down the road a whole lot better uh, since I, I tightened up the suspension raised it up a little bit because uh, now when it goes to the grad it doesn't get stuck before you should just kind of get stuck yeah but good but uh I also got the the felony the big orange car kind of looks like a Camaro and uh it's got the same problem like the wheels are like really leaned in I have brand new tires and before I put them on I need to do the alignment on that too as well but the wheels when you grab them they kind of like this kind of wobble yeah this I guess maybe I just need to check and make sure that nuts tight that's probably what it is but the I think the on the felony the ball sockets or whatever they call those joints they said they can be tightened up a little bit so we'll look into that maybe that'll be like the next thing we work on tell you what this is this is really a fun vehicle so like i said i need to turn down the braking on this and yes i know you can do it through the radio it's just kind of a pain i i've, I've done it before i set it up because initially i think there was almost no braking in this thing so i went ahead spent the money well oh, this hobby gets expensive and i'm not even deep into this stuff picture I, if i start getting into which i want to i want to do like one speed car maybe two one from each company i don't know um it's something i look forward to doing maybe but yeah this hobby can get expensive what is this plug reset pin huh that's interesting so this is the uh, the Bluetooth programmer for Castle. Basically, what they want you to do is hook this up and just leave it in here. And this is the only thing I have that's Castle. I could do that, but I don't think I want to. So what I'm thinking of doing here is putting like a little jumper in here and make it to where it's removable. So that way it's just not always in here bouncing around. So. We have to open up the receiver to get into here. You know, that's still one I don't like about that is that they want you to keep it in here. Um, I have the power program or two for the spectrum batteries, and you don't have to. Oh, what a ding! I loosen the servo. Oops, let's put that back in. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll use the screwdriver, the electric screwdriver, to, to do like long um, screws, but I always finish it off. I try to with a uh, regular screwdriver by hand. See, this is what I don't like. You got this whole big this waterproof thing, and uh, you got all these other things that are in it. Looks like these things here have been rubbing. Alright, let's see if this uh, connects. So this is a uh, can. Huh. So there we have it. So hopefully uh, you guys can see what's going on here. Enter passcode. What? Oh. Default passcode. One, two, three. Keep default. Like, I need... Sidewinder SCT firmware. So it looks like it has the... brushed mode so I don't have a brushed motor on here so uh see controller settings lipo three cells reverse type with reverse motor direction normal brushless brake amount um uh, 
Cut it to 80. Max reverse power. Punch control. I'm not even sure what punch control is. I guess I need to look that up. I think it has something to do with crawlers. I could be wrong. Torque control. Hmm. You could definitely do, it looks like, a lot more with this than you can. Uh... with the uh doing it by because look at that throttle curve so i guess and this is one of these got to be trigger one of these got to be power so i mean you could curve it maybe blue line curve program red line profile curve i don't know i don't know enough about these things brake curve same way so uh here we go. Send sending. So like I said, uh, I think I forgot. Um, I have the same. I have the programmer for the Spectrum series, and that you can actually like right on the ESC. You just you pull out the fan thing, you plug it in, and it's easy. This for some reason they want you to keep it in here, which I'm not a fan of. I will for now because I'm going to test out this brake settings. Uh, or actually, I'm just going to go ahead and take it out. And I guess what I can do is I can just wire tie like this. No, if I do that. Well, anyhow, I'll be able just to go ahead and throw that back in there. So let's get this back together and uh, give you the final thoughts. I know I said it before that buying a 3S would have been easier, but you know what? This is such a fun truck, and I think it's going to be a really cool test bed to try out some stuff. I really want to learn more into RC about how pinion and spur gear ratios work, how to dial in suspensions, uh, how motors work, you know, how, you know, the KV and stuff works. I, I do look forward to building at least one speed car, something to go well over 100. And I got to tell you, it's nerve-wracking because the felony goes about, like, 60 70 and it's it's nerve-wracking you really got to find a nice place to run these things and a matter of fact that's going to be the next thing on the bench and i think that's going to be a series i think it's going to be kind of like here's what we have on the bench and this is what we're going to do modifying and fixing cars that are broken to be on the bench and then you know and other things we're going to go out to the field and run cars we're going to jump you know i got things like the x max which i guess you can't see the box but i got some off-road cars we got some on-road cars so we got a lot of stuff. I got the Pro Moto MX motorcycle. So I look forward to sharing it. In fact, I got the new tires here for the felony. Got two different sizes, but yeah, those tires are well worn. So I think we're gonna have a smoke test with that car, and then we're gonna get the suspension dialed in, try to get that alignment because the wheels just really lean in and they're kind of loose. So I need to tighten some stuff up. And we'll go through that and learn how all that works. Kind of like on this, can you believe the the, the suspension actually? Can it, it can adjust it? I didn't know that, so that's pretty cool. Learn something new on the uh, infraction here. Man, this is a great truck. Lots of fun. I, I don't regret getting it. It was a great price, and you know, if you're new in the RC, buy this for the base price. It comes all ready to run with the battery. It comes with an eight cell, I believe. Um, a nickel metal hydride battery it has a brushed motor it's not very fast like 20 25 miles an hour but you can still have some fun with it and it's not so fast that you're going to take stuff out and man, i mean plus i mean look at this thing this thing's freaking wicked looking so yeah so i think this is the direction that i'm looking to take the channel in is just purely rc stuff i'm going to stick on the one topic and i'm going to do a video later on explain a chance anybody's interested i think i'm going to explain some stuff going on but i think that's what i'm looking at doing it's just going full on rc so we also got the plane that i crashed uh we got to rebuild it i do have a fuselage and a wing coming but i'm gonna try to fix what we got see if we can get it airborne that way so that should be interesting all right, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the infraction, and I hope you like RC cars, and you should subscribe and join us for more. Likes, comments, appreciated. Please subscribe if you haven't. 
Uh, check out the links down below in the Amazon store. If you see any of this stuff, go into my RC car section. I got links to all the stuff I put in these cars down there if you're interested. Because I get people asking, where do you get this, that, and the next thing? So that's where you find it. Amazon store. Go to RC cars. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.